Warning, this creepy cut is made up and not real. It also contains content that you may not be suitable for younger audiences. If you get scared easily, do not watch this creepy cut. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> you are now watching Creepy Cuts on YouTube. <laughs> Today's creepy cut is the Telly Tubbies Lost Episode Playground. <laughs> Some people may remember the 1997 TV show Telly Tubbies. It was a rather weird show and generally disturbing if you for some haters. Speakers were everywhere and there was a song with a baby's face on it. Plus a scary segment involving a lion and a bear which was edited after complaints. And today, I went to the local HMV show. The store clerk had recently got on a pre-owned DVD. It said, Telly Tubby's Lost Episode, The Playground. The clerk said to me that the customer who saw it was extremely upset. He said that he did not want to watch it anymore. I bought it anyway, despite the words about the upset customer. I slammed into my DVD player. It skipped the BBC logo and went straight to the intro. Everything was okay at first. The intro was normal until a speaker that was supposed to say Where have the Teletubbies gone? Said something disturbing instead. It said Life is not about anything. It is the consequences. I thought that was rather weird for a, for a, for a TV show for babies. However, and, and I continued on. And it started with Tinky Winky sitting at the table. He was rather sad and depressed and he was crying. Not like the cartoon crying, but actual, real human crying. It depicted, it's getting another scene. It depicted another CG looking playground and a clarified it looked like a tattoo's house. Whoever made CG I was rather crappy at it, it was all wireframe. I heard in the bathroom to this and then I came back and the final phrase was Tommy Bye Bye speaker was spoken. It's still saying, time for Tommy Bye Bye. Time for Tommy Bye Bye. Time for Tommy Bye Bye. Like it usually say. It said this. Life is meaningless. The truth is that you are all going to die from a horrifying death. No one understands it. A nuclear bomb then hit Tokyo Land. The baby son was crying rather than the normal happy face. Its face was soaked in blood. After that, a pig with the playground head with the telephones hanging on gallows. Blood was seeping from their necks as they died. Behind them was the turtle's home on flames. And the baby sung from before, but it was shot to the ground and it was bleeding, of course. I vomited again, this time in the toilet. After that happened, it cut to the end credits, but at the end, instead of a ragdoll logo, there was a message that I couldn't understand. But one look, it, 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 had, it said Russian or Ukrainian. I turned it off and rang out ragged about the episode. They said they had two hot, they had two, three, seven complaints, and it was worse by lying in the episode. They said there was also a man that made it called Christian Johnson. He had a friend who went to a playground, but apparently he was he was on drugs and was depressed to the point of committing suicide. He was a CGI artist, but he never got to complete the episode because the progress was halted when Ragdoll found out what it was. And it was, by mistake, sent to the BBC. They aired it on the CBBC channel without realising the content. After just five minutes of the episode, the complaints started ringing in. Parents said it was disturbing for their children and BBC took it off the air immediately. After hearing this, I ripped on the disc and smashed it. I couldn't see for the whole night. I had nightmares about it for weeks. The next morning, a doorbell rang. A man came, a man just up as a bloodstained tattoo of his and said his name was Ted Goldman, the same person who worked on Pingu's Punishment. The end. <laughs> Next week's creepy cut. <laughs>